All right, it's a uh, wild card Wednesday, and this week I'm going to be playing Super Pitfall 2. And if you're wondering what the hell Super Pitfall 2 is, well, it's uh, <clears throat> it's it never got released in the United States. It was uh, a game called uh, Atlantis No Nazo in Japan on the Famicom, meaning uh, Mystery of Atlantis, and this was planned to be a uh, a port, a, a localized port of that, and we got birds shitting on me. Let's just start right off, and I've never played this before, so I don't know what the hell I'm in for. I know I'm in for, I, at least I've got a decent amount of lives. Coming on a parachute, I mean a parachute, a, a, a balloon, so it does at least have some uh, callback to Pitfall. But I think otherwise it wasn't, uh, you know, there wasn't mu anything, any, uh, much relation. Maybe there was going to be more, uh, because this was not finished or anything like that. This was, you know, the, as far as I know, this ROM is the, uh, you know, what was under development as far as transferring the, uh, you know, the, the, what is going on here? These weapons that I have do absolutely nothing. So, I mean, I'll say this, it's, while it doesn't play anything like Super Pitfall, there definitely are similarities in terms of just as far as the quality goes. Uh, the jumping is at least a little bit better than I died as soon as I said to say that. You have a little bit more control of yourself, but it is fairly stiff. It's, uh... You know, you, all, you can't really control yourself in midair. You are kind of stuck with whatever motion you ended up starting off with. And is there? I haven't seen anything besides birds shitting on me and weapons that do nothing. I'm just going to follow these guys, I guess. Oh, I got time down there. I gotta make it to the end, and I did. All right. So, I mean, that's that whole thing of like, uh, you know, getting, you know, you have 20 minutes in Pitfall on a one. Oh, hey, I killed something. What do you know? So, I mean, yeah, the whole, the fact that there's a timer is, you know, familiar and everything. Oh, God. Is there any point in even trying to go up there? Like, it's, it's just, it's hard to really get a good running jump. Jesus Christ. Oh, there we go. Now I can get up top. What the fuck? I died from my own attack? Or did I run out of time? I didn't see that. I was too busy fucking around. I can kill two birds with one stone, or two shells, or whatever. Pfft, look at those idiots up there. I think they're trying to have a baby or something. Can I jump over? Alright. Man, these, uh, you know, level design is so redundant. Come on! Die! Ugh, so I gotta, like, alright, get them to, uh, you know, come out of their shell at the right time. That was just, that ended the zone. I wonder what was up ahead. More, you know, treasures to collect, I imagine. Well, that came out of nowhere and surprised the fuck out of me. So I don't know how much, uh, you know, I never played the original Famicom game, so I don't know how different this is from that as far as, uh, you know, if it's a finished game or not. It seems like it is. <clears throat> it's rough around the edges. Uh, 
and I'm not, I, I think I'm all set. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to kind of explore it a little bit. Super Pitfall was one of my earlier reviews, one of my first few. So, you know, I kind of wanted to check this out after I had discovered its existence. I didn't even know about this until, until relatively recently. So, you know, I, it might be kind of like, you know, it's funny because Super Pitfall is, is a, is a poor game, but after, I wouldn't say it's an acquired taste, but once you get used to the, to the, to the poor controls and, you know, the me mechanics of it all, you can at least, you know, it's, it's, it's playable in its own right. It, it's objectively, it's a bad game, but I can play it. Maybe you can, you know, maybe not to as bad much of an extent, this is a much different game with a similar theme. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, or, or was what it was. It never got to be what it needed to be. And so that's about it. I'll, I'll call it a day from here, and I'll see you next week.